The North American XA-2J Super Savage emerged from the United States Navy's urgent need for carrier-based nuclear strike capability following World War II. Nuclear weapons of the late 1940s were massive and heavy, beyond the capacity of existing carrier aircraft. The Navy refused to cede nuclear strike missions exclusively to the Army Air Force. Believing that medium-sized aircraft launching from carriers hundreds of miles from targets offered tactical advantages over long-range strategic bombers. The XA-2J project began in December 1947 when North American Aviation proposed an enhanced version of their AJ Savage, designated NA-158. The Navy ordered two prototypes and a static test airframe in October 1948, assigning Bureau of Aeronautics serial numbers 1124439 and 12440. The updated design, redesignated NA-163, represented a complete departure from the original mixed propulsion concept. The Super Savage featured an all-metal construction with tricycle landing gear and a high-mounted straight wing equipped with drooping leading edges and large trailing edge flaps. Wings and tail folded hydraulically for carrier storage. The pressurized cockpit housed three crew members, pilot, co-pilot, bombardier, and rear-facing gunner. The internal bomb bay accommodated up to 10,500 pounds of ordnance, while the planned defensive armament included a radar-equipped tail turret with twin 20mm cannons. The aircraft's power plant consisted of two wing-mounted Allison T-40 turboprop engines, each comprising two T-38 engines coupled through a common gear reduction driving contra-rotating propellers. This complex arrangement produced 5,332 horsepower and 1,225 pounds of thrust, equivalent to 5,850 horsepower combined. The six-blade Aeroproducts propellers measured 15 feet in diameter. Construction began in late 1949, but Allison's technological struggles with the T-40 engines delayed delivery until late 1951. The first prototype finally flew on January 4, 1952, piloted by Robert Baker from Los Angeles International Airport to Edwards Air Force Base for testing. The T-40 engine proved catastrophically unreliable. Both engines and gearboxes suffered frequent failures, limiting output to 5,035 horsepower. The aircraft was 4,000 pounds overweight and achieved only 400 miles per hour maximum speed during testing, far below the estimated 451 miles per hour at 24,000 feet. By the XA-2J's first flight, Douglas had developed the superior A3D Sky Warrior, which offered far better performance and reliability. The XA-2J project was canceled in mid-1953, with the second prototype never completed. The Super Savage remains a testament to ambitious engineering undone by technological limitations, representing the transition period between piston and jet propulsion in naval aviation.